find him if I go out there. I know you are not a very good friend. And whether you agree or disagree, I don't care. <laughs> so, I was working on a project. As I said, while I was working on the project, maybe I could listen to something. So I went to YouTube, and I saw this person Houston. I'm like, okay. He's not a regular person that I listen to, but let me listen to what he was saying. OMG. OMG. You know, God gave us two eyes, two ears, and one mouth. So, for us, for you, for me, if you are ministering and are teaching or prophesying or whatever you do in the house of the Lord, don't take God's glory away from Him. Do not take God's glory away from him. It is distraction to the eyes. If I am watching you and what you're wearing is distraction, your tight clothes is distraction. Your tattoos, yeah, your tattoos are distraction. It takes away from what you are saying. So I was listening and I was like, okay, I'm trying to listen, but my eyes are like, why? 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 I don't care about seeing all your tattoos on both hands. I don't care about that. I wanted to hear what God was saying. But the person made it hard for you to, for me to hear what God was saying. So, speakers, upcoming speakers, current speakers, you don't want to see your breasts. You don't want to see your tops. You don't want to see your butt. And the same thing goes to the men. You don't want to see how muscle up you are. You don't want to see your six pack. You don't want to see your tight pants. You don't want to see all of that. And I know when I was there, it no matter. Because that's the thing. It's not going to save us. Let me get that. I mean, know that. Because God is looking at our heart. He's looking at our heart. God is looking at our heart. The purity of our heart. But if you're butt naked, if you're sh Dress is way up. Short as short. If your clothes fit to you and you're up there and I look down and I make the upper and the leader and you're up there and minister to me, it is distraction. I repeat, it is just distraction. It is taking away people not hearing what you are saying. They ain't sitting in their seat just like how I was sitting around my computer wondering why. You know you were ministering. 
put on a shirt, cover up your tattoo because nobody didn't want to know. What you're saying was relevant, but you made it irrelevant when you became the center of it all. So for you, for me, whatever we're doing for God, we must not take away his glory. We must not take away his glory to cover up. Put on a shirt, cover up your breasts, cover up your butt, make your dress a little, if you're in your, if you're in your skirt, you become a little longer so that it don't take away from the word that God has put into you for your people, for the people. And I'm happy to know that I will stand up when the time is brought into it. Because it, it is what it is. What you are saying might be important. But when you're wearing the dazzling and everything is out, it takes away from that. And this beautiful girl is on my mind. So this is what my on my mind. So this is what on my mind. Have a blessed, blessed one. Jesus loves you. And Jesus loves me. And I know you are going to say that some of us don't have any conscience. It's seared. God's turned us over to a reprobate mind because he knows that we're going to do whatever we want to do anyways. I don't care what the people who are not saved are professing to be Christian or saying. When you are administering the word of God to people, you need to be convicted by the word of God. And if you're not being convicted by it, the people listening to you will not be convicted by it. And I know you're going to say, uh, exposing all the tattoos that you have on your body to the world and you're ministering. You got these tattoos were on the beach or you um, at some event. You were at an event ministering <laughs> oh, I'm sorry have a blessed one my dummy